So the time there is. I'll, I'll give it to you, let you take pictures. Two o'clock. So those are easy. Now, where it comes hard is when it's between two and three. So you'll notice that between each hour, there are one, two, three, four longer hash marks. Those are 15 minute intervals. And then you'll notice in between, there are little smaller hash marks. See these little teeny ones? Those are five minutes. So, for example, this would be. That's 2.15. How do you know if it's AM or PM? You don't. <laughs> just like on any watch. Unless the watch is geared, you don't know that on any watch. Unless you go past midnight and, and, and <laughs> well, you go past midnight and make sure the date will change. All right, now here's where it gets hard. So uh, can you set it and tell where 1201 is? No, because on a single hand watch, you don't have enough. Mm -hmm. it, the movement is precise enough to do it. It's just with one hand, you can't display it. But if I put it here, This and I'll pass it around. This would be roughly 12:32. Excuse me, uh, 2:32. See if you can see that. And once you figure it out after a couple of days, and you show it to others, and they think you've really gone crazy. <laughs> you know, like your watch is broken. Missing. Yeah. <laughs> like how can you read that? It's like you know a code. You spent three grand for for a broken watch. Yeah. <laughs> so not three grand. That one's 17. This one's 17. The other ones are three. Which one's three grand? Uh, I think it's a chronograph, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the rest of the line is very reasonable. Yeah. yeah. But that's.